Dark Design is the 13th episode of Beast Wars, airing November 4th, 1996. In it, the Predacons kidnap Rhinox and reprogram him to be a Predacon, but he turns out to be more than capable of taking over them. Shenanigans ensue. Optimus notes that Rhinox would be a good leader, which Rhinox humbly declines, even though we have seen him in past episodes be a really good leader. The Predacons ambush them, and it turns into a war movie. They're shaky cam. Whoa! Apparently, Megatron didn't realize that Rhinox is badass until this point. So he gets Tarantulas to kidnap him, and they strap him into a thing that turns him evil. Traitor. Yep, you got a point there. In which case, Rhinox terrorize! <laughs> This is the first time we get a good look inside of Rat Trap's arm. Rhinox crushes Scorponox with some crates, and then he just home alones and swings a crate at Waspinator, giving him, I guess, a Transformer concussion. Waspinator, negative, negative, negative. I am Shrapnel Decepticon here. Oh, 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 oh. That was a Decepticon from the Great Wars three centuries ago. Giving us a reference to, of all G1 Transformers, Shrapnel, the Insecticon, and we know that it's been three centuries or 300 years since G1. Which isn't super long for Transformers. I mean, in between the Autobots and Decepticons landing on Earth and them waking up for G1 was four million years. He's wacko. Wacko? No! Wanko! Wanko the same! That is a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference and also a reference to a member of the old TF forms. If you don't know what forums were for old internet, basically think Discord meets 4chan and even worse. Pterosaur being Pterosaur tries allying with Rhinox just to get put in his place. The spiders get poisoned, I guess. The rest of the Maximals show up to fight the Predacons. There's some weird choreography with Megatron and Optimus, but Optimus does cut his arm off. Megatron can spin his hand around to grab Pterosaur. Well, he is a robot, that's not super weird, but still kind of is. But Rhinox is brought back to normal, and everyone relaxes with a good book. This is a really good episode. Seeing Rhinox cut loose and take out the Predacons is really cool and fun. How has there not been a Predacon Rhinox repaint ever? But there's not a whole lot to say about this episode, sorry. 7 out of 10 still.